Hello guys, welcome back to eTabs video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will go through a single story frame. So I'll open eTabs and I'll select File New Model and I'll use my default settings. I'll select OK. Coming to this window tab, I'll select Grid and in X direction I'll have to in y direction actually in the x sorry in x direction 2 in y direction 1 is sufficient and I'll have a distance of 12 feet in x direction and I'll keep it as 1 in y and just it doesn't matter number of stories I'll have one story which will be 10 feet Once you are done with entering the data for your grid, you can select OK. So you can see your grid. Now, what we'll do is we'll go to define. We'll define our material property. So we have 4000 PSI which we will use for now. I mean if you want a new material property, just say add new material. You use whatever concrete you want to use. Just like that select ok next I'll go to section property and I will define frame sections so I'll say add new property concrete I'll say rectangular I'll give it a name um, beam I'll use 5000 psi as my material and it will be rectangular shape the depth and width I'll keep it as 18 by 18 we are not looking into design right now so that is okay for now next I'll say add one more and I'll say column I'll use 5000 psi material my section will be 24 by 24 should be fine I'll select OK select OK now you can go to define and you can define your load patterns you have dead and live so that is fine for now we'll go to load combinations in load combinations you have nothing you can add a new combo like if you want to add a separate combo like from code or something like that you can do that or you can add default design combos say concrete frame design I'll select OK so you have two combinations you can see them if you want so it's dead multiplied by 1.4 and the second one will be 1.2 dead plus 1.6 live select OK now the next thing is we'll draw our single story frame so I can go to draw and I can select draw beam element or I can just select this draw beam element over here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move to elevation view say E. so this is your elevation view in one direction anyway so I can draw it over here all right before that I need to show you something else so once I select the beam element I have over here type of line frame mm, property should be column for columns so I'll select column I'll draw it and now you can click right mouse button let go of that and again you draw it over there next similarly you will go in here you will select a beam and then draw 
a beam from column to column. So you see over there you are all right now I'll turn this into 3D and just to show you extruded view let me go and see extruded view how does it look so you select this set display options or you can go to view set display options or you can even enter control plus W shortcut so let me just use this one and make sure that I have my extrude view turned on there you go extrude frames and special effects select apply and select OK So you can see it's there. Now next thing is we have already pinned supports but if you want to change the supports you can select the support and so right now you have selected even the frame if you say if you do the selection going from right to left it will select the frame and the support but if you do it from left to right it will only select those node points now you can go to assign phase joints restraints and let's say fixed for now select ok you have fixed connection over there next thing we'll do is we'll apply some load on the beam we'll say assign frame loads First, I'll have distributed load. So, dead will be let's say 0.1 kip per feet, nothing but 100 pounds per feet. Select apply and then we'll go for live load. We'll have it as 0.2 kip per feet, nothing but 200 pounds per feet. Select apply. Oh, sorry. We need to select that object before that. Now you can select apply. Okay, now once that is done, close this and then select that again. And we'll apply a point load right now. Or would you like something interesting like a trapezoidal load? Let me show you a trapezoidal load in there 0.05. To 0 0.075 so these loads are again at are the just ones I'm giving them randomly just to show you how to enter things but the loads will come from the codes and will have minimum amount of load to be applied all the time and this Say it zero. We'll add it under dead. This one select apply. So, as you can see, you have right now applied a triangular load, but you want it to be a trapezoidal load. So, I'll enter 0 0.25 over here and 0 0.75 over there. And I'll say replace existing loads so that this load could be display uh, replaced and say apply. Oh my god, I have to select the member. So now you can see a trapezoidal load being applied. Select OK. Let us select that member and apply one last load, nothing but point load exactly in the center. So since this was 12 feet, so what I'll do is I'll say 0 0.5. And apply the load of two kips. 
and let's say it as live load select apply now it's applying in udl load Select OK. Now, in order to view, uh, it's actually applying the. It applied the two kips load, and also you have 0 0.2 kips per feet UDL load on there. So, if you select that and give right click on the member, you should be able to see its properties. Loads you have distributed of 0 0.025. 3 feet to 0 0.075 at 9 feet and point load at 6 kip feet uniform force point to kip feet so that is how you apply the loads okay now once you are done with applying the loads you just need to do is analyze the structure so you'll just go to analyze say run analysis and make sure you save it single story frame select save and now it does your analysis you can see your animation that way it's gonna move deformed shape anyways so now this might looks like very huge for us you can see that uh, maximum is 0 0.00021 so uh, first thing this is undeformed shape and then you have this load frame load designs on frame and show deformed shape in here you can see deformed shape for your load combinations or your dead load and live load case so i'll select combination number two i'll say draw contours and I'll want use Z direction because we have uh, displacement in Z direction. Select apply and select OK. So now, yeah, so this is your final deformed shape. But if you want to know what's the deflection at the center of this, what you can do is you can uh, can unlock this model select that frame go to edit say edit frames say divide frames divide into two objects select ok now you can find a node point over there now run the analysis and you should be able to see you are used it over there so it's 0 0.0019 so if you multiply by 12 it will be in inches i think that is right now in feet if you select these units anyways so let's go over here and select the same thing that we wanted use Z combination number two select apply so you can see the maximum and minimums are shown over here and this is your contour like it's various anyways that being done next we'll see 
stresses and moments go to display frame link forces in this you select your case or combination and say moment 3 3 select apply so there you go and if you want to values you can say show values select apply so your values are shown now in order for share select share to two there you go select ok so now if you want to like import this like I mean if you want to create a report for this results you can do that uh, which is what which is what I'm not gonna say right now how to do it I mean but you can just go to create report and do it but we'll do this in detail in the coming video tutorials where we will require it anyways uh, thank you for watching the video guys if you have any questions please comment below thank you